Sessions by G.M. Danielson. That night, I was sleeping at my parents' house because I didn't want to stay in my apartment, mostly because it was boring there. I lived alone and didn't have a TV, so all I really could do was sleep. If I came back to my hometown, at least I could see my family and spend time with them. It allowed me to keep my social skills up. I decided that I would stay downstairs with my little brother and play video games. We'd just bought a new Wii, and we were pretty addicted to it. My dad and my sister went to bed early, while my brother and I kept gaming. At around 12.45, we were still playing, when I heard something that sounded like my mom calling my brother's name. It was like she was shouting for his attention from another level of the house. She did this a lot, yelling at him to do the dishes or to go to sleep. He's pretty young, so he does still have a bedtime. But this didn't make any sense. First off, mom wouldn't yell so late at night. Second, and most importantly, mom wasn't home. She'd left to catch a flight a few hours before. I shrugged it off as my mind playing tricks on me. I often hear strange things that don't make sense. I was probably just tired. Not even ten minutes later, it happened again. She called him in the exact same voice and tone, faint but definitely my mom yelling my brother's name. I was about to conclude I'd gone crazy when my brother looked at me confused and said, Is that mom calling me? I stared at him in disbelief. He heard it too. Impossible. I told him that I'd also heard it a few minutes earlier, and he explained that he had heard it too, but he just thought it was a sound in the video game we were playing. We agreed that it must have been since we couldn't find any other explanation. We were still creeped out though, so we resolved to play the game on mute. After a while, I got a weird feeling. I felt like something wanted my attention. I wondered if maybe my mom missed the flight and drove back and got locked outside. I told my little brother to stay put and that I was going to check things out. I walked to the front door and turned on the porch light, but no one was there. Strangely, the door wasn't even locked. I locked it and walked back to the basement door. I noticed that the door was open just a bit and stared into the dark for a second. I decided to check it after looking upstairs first. If something was inside, it would be wiser to check on my sleeping family rather than a dark, empty floor. I went up the stairs slowly and checked all of the rooms that were open. I didn't find anything thankfully out of the ordinary, so I went back downstairs. When I got to the living room, I found the basement door was now closed. I was sure I had seen it open before, and it freaked me out, so I called my little brother over. He walked up to me, and I asked him if he had shut the door while I was upstairs, but he told me he hadn't moved from the TV room since I'd left. I didn't want to check anymore. I just shut the basement door tightly. There was a lock on it, but the door would never shut tight enough for me to make the lock work. I went to the kitchen and grabbed a huge knife, and went around the house making sure all the doors were locked. I texted my mom to ask her if she was okay and if she was in the house by any chance. She, as I expected, didn't answer. She was supposed to be in another country. 
After a while, we kept playing the game on mute, waiting to hear the voice again. But it was quiet after that. Finally, I got tired and left my brother alone downstairs, going up to my room to sleep. The next morning, I woke up and found myself alone in the house. Everyone was gone, so I just started watching YouTube videos on the computer all day. I kept glancing at the basement though, just waiting for something to pop out. But it was still quiet and nothing came out. When my dad finally came back from work, I told him what had happened. I even asked him if maybe he'd been watching a home video with my mom in it. His room was above the TV room, so we definitely could have heard it through the ceiling. But he told me he had been asleep. He had gone to bed very early and drifted off right away before he could turn the TV on. I kind of knew that already, but I wanted to be sure it couldn't have been anything except for, well, whatever it was that had made the noise the night before. There was one thing he told me that I didn't understand. When I left my brother downstairs, I saw him shut off the game system and TV, then shut the room's door from the outside and retreat into the living room to sit in the armchair and watch videos on his iPad. He usually stayed up until about 5 a.m., once the sun came up, he'd go to bed. But until then, he'd be in the living room on that chair and wouldn't move until it was to go get a snack in the kitchen. It was a shock to me when my dad said that when he woke up and tried to get into the TV room, it was blocked. My little brother had gone around to the other side through the bathroom. He found that the bookshelf had been pushed in front of the door for some reason. A reason I have never been able to explain.